Welcome everyone, Questine here with my Boris Ursus campaign guide for Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Now, I did a campaign guide for Boris a while ago, but since then I've learned a number of things about playing Kislev that I am now going to apply um, to this particular guide. So, you do start over here in the castle. And you have a very strong army, and it's particularly strong in the Atrezal, because you have some heavily armored units. You have two Sargar, two Armored Kassars, two Warbear Riders, Boris himself, and a Patriarch. The Patriarch is the least armored unit that you do have at the start. Now, you want to resolve this battle, and then resolve the settlement battle uh, over here. Make sure you're not researching anything, and don't invoke uh, Ursin just yet in this particular campaign. Now, uh, you're not going to build anything here, you're not going to bother with this particular province, you are just going to recruit a bunch of regular Khazars, get Rune Marcher, get the Inspiring Presence, get the Patriarch Replenish, Orson's Roar, and now start researching Ice Sculpting. There's no diplomatic options that uh, are going to be available for you at this point, and you are then going to make a beeline for the Frozen Landing over here. Uh, your goal, so to speak, is to leave this initial province. The reason you want to leave, and the reason you want to leave Kislev entirely, is because there's a fairly nasty combat loop, so to speak, that can happen in Kislev, where you're spending a lot of your time uh, in an early campaign fighting back and forth, back and forth between yourself and the forces of chaos. And although you can win that, it is going to mean you're not going to expand it across the campaign map, which is something that's important in order to win a campaign. So the goal of this guide is to set you up in such a position that you can expand across the entirety of the campaign map. There are various ways to, uh, to do this. It seems like the dwarves don't necessarily have a lot. Let, let me just toggle the fog of war and explain a couple of things. The dwarves over here in Krakadrak, who are not particularly friendly to, towards you, are generally going to get wiped out by Trog, unless you intervene. Do you want to intervene? Not necessarily. Um, so, sometimes things can go better than others. You could take Hell Pit and give it to the Dwarves, and that will give them a great deal of survivability, especially if you wipe out Trog's army. Uh, but what you want to do is take out the minor Norskan faction that's over here. Now, of course, um, Prague is going to take advantage of that, get this particular settlement in the Eastern Oblast. So you've got the minor Norse convection here with an army over on this side. You've got Prague with building an army on this side. Then, of course, you've got Archeon over here and then the Demon Prince. Your campaign victory conditions require you to take out Archeon for a short uh, victory condition. Uh, beyond that, of course, the south, you've got Draika, you've got Azag, uh, you've got Festus as well. But your main early game threat is actually going to be Frog. You do have a much more powerful army than he does because of the heavily armored units. If you go up in a toe-to-toe -to -toe confrontation with Frot, you are going to win. In fact, you'll be able to win against pretty much all of the early game threats. The only one that can stand a chance against you uh, early on in the campaign is actually Archeon. But again, you don't want to stay here. You want to get out. Specifically, you want to head over into the Empire. But first, you need to try and stabilize the situation in Kislev before you do so. Okay, so I've recruited. I'm at 15 units at the moment. I am going to force march him over here. And maybe even get some vision with that. He's going to be level 4, going to get fire drills, going to uh, keep... Uh, keep getting income over Demon there. Uh, not going to do anything with that settlement. You don't want to do it. I find that it might antagonize the other factions if the settlement... Like, if this settlement has value, as in if you add structures to it, then uh, Archeon might have more reasons to declare war against you. Hell, you could even trade it to Archeon or a minor Norskan faction that he has as a vassal. Uh, if you so desire, if you get that opportunity and get some money like that, delay the inevitable war uh, that you're going to fight against them. Or you could even trade it to... Uh, you could even trade it to... Um, A timely arrival. Uh, you could even trade it with... Uh, with the demonic factions yes demonic diplomacy is a lovely Taste affair <laughs> is a bit hilarious okay 
So I'm going to take the settlement, but first I'm going to uh, oh, stop my research and invoke Urson so I can get supporters. That is important. You want to get supporters Boris early Orsos. on in the campaign. We are invincible, That's going to give me five. My Let's Empire occupy it. Now you might want to hold on to the frozen landing for a couple of turns because there might be a bunch of cafe and caravans heading that way. So you should wait at least a few turns. There I get the student, you get students. Uh, you have a chance of getting students if you're not researching anything when your heroes do rank up. Now soon enough I am going to get ice sculpting and that's going to allow me to start getting... Uh, start getting... Um, To start getting um, an ice mage over there. Now, Prague will almost always do this. They'll march an army and they'll take this particular settlement. By the way, should be stated, this is a legendary, very hard difficulty. Obviously, on lower difficulties, things are going to be different. Different decision. Uh, Dei is going to make different decisions. Your opponents are generally going to be weaker, though. And Krakodrak might survive for a longer period of time. Or maybe they'll die faster. You never know. Either way, uh, the Norskans have moved out of this their settlement over there. And I am going to move them over here. The army that I have is more than capable of, of resolving its way uh, to victory. You are fortunate indeed to gain my attention. Now, you you can give them the frozen landing. Damn, that's a lot. You can Keep give them the frozen landing. For, like, a defensive alliance over there. Sometimes they'll accept it for a defensive alliance. Other times they'll just uh, sell for a non-aggression pact. You could pay them for more for a defensive alliance, obviously. Uh, getting that defensive alliance would give them replenishment in their territory. You have great replenishment in your faction because of that patriarch that you starts with. Um, one of the key benefits of Kislev is that patriarchs are really great on the campaign map. Not necessarily the best in battles, though they do provide some nice army buffs. Now, over here... Hear me roar! The motherland in okay. I Follow the bear! Just going to get Think another workers. unit. Should have stopped the research, but it doesn't chaos matter. Alone. A step That's a chaos incursion. We will be I defeated. I have promises to govern. Men to command. This had better be urgent. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait another turn. Hopefully my relations with Prague will improve a bit, and then I trade those territories, get the defensive alliance that I want. They've fallen back, but now they're going to attack my territory. I think they're gonna take the temple over. Th they're gonna try and take the temple. They're gonna fail, of course. We I got the chaos incursion. This may or may not happen. It's a RNG event. Um, though in these minor settlements, you can just basically... It's basically a rebellion, more or less. A chaos rebellion. You can get beastmen. You can get all kinds of things. We are Urson's claws. And one of the things is, if you can... Oh, that's unfortunate. That is a really unfortunate turn of events. High Priest of Urson. Report, comrade. Okay, military Please access, non aggression pact. Let's trade uh, the temple. You paid it. Ice Queen of Kislev. What news do you bring to the pledge? Get the trade How agreement over formed. there. Now, if that wasn't my capital, I would love to give this initial province to another faction. Get Taurus Bal him over there. A perfect climate. 
that is gonna uh, take some of the time away. But it's not necessarily uh, the biggest problem, because I could then go and save uh, Krakadrak if push comes to shove. Sell the frozen landing to to Prague. They might declare war on Krakadrak for whatever reason. Both Castelton and Prague seem to have a preference for declaring war on on Krakadrak. Sometimes in campaigns, not sure why, but. It does happen. The motherland never falters. Orson. Aye. Miss. They are one. Honor to your ancestors. Kislev. What shit? I have survived. Lost Tsar returns. Okay, and I give have them to govern, this territory. To command. Or actually just wait for some of the caravans to potentially arrive. Rank 8. Not gonna level him up uh, even further. Oh, should have started that. Forgot to do Anything so. for Should have done that earlier, but it doesn't matter. Dice Mage. To Father Bear. And now you could go. Now, since I got that uh, Chaos Incursion, I'm going to go for help it from the north. That will allow me to help Krakadrak as well. You could also conquer Krakadrak, but there's obvious downsides for doing so. Okay. If by this point you don't see a cafe and caravan, probably safe to sell this element to either Krakadrak or um, to the other Kislev faction. Hearts of Prague. Preferably to Prague. So Frat has Follow taken uh, that settlement over there gonna give him icon of strength Boris Orsos. this is gonna last a couple more turns but yeah, no no caravans incoming Report, sometimes a cafe and caravans For the can head over uh, there hey, now banana. here's what you need to know what you may speak uh, they're almost war. certainly Ice. What news do you bring going to end up in a war uh, with um, Clan Farrakh. Gonna get the Tempest Mage. Gonna get Troll Country Pathfinder. I do find that Fraught has a tendency to take over. Now, I could start working on a second army over there for the tower um he if frat is attacking if frat has taken the lair of the troll king it means he's taken out the drusina enclave just uh something you should know now i'm gonna obviously suffer a bit of a penalty over here they've taken the winter pyre poor crack drunk getting wiped out on all of campaigns unfortunately Alright, just move over here. I will give this to crack a drac. If I could take help it for myself, that would be great. You may not be able... Uh, I'm going to get Ice Charioteer. That's a great trait. You may not be able uh, to do this in again. every campaign. Just be aware of that situation. Hear me roar. Now, it isn't necessarily too important that you defeat um, 
you defeat Trog. Though, if you could, or keep Kranka Drunk alive. Though, if you could keep uh, Kranka Drunk alive, they, they would help being a bulwark in the north. Though, all you really, really care about is ensuring the defeat, ensuring that Kislev doesn't get defeated. At least, not fully. Remember, you can confederate. You don't have the limit on confederation that Castalton or Catrin do. You can confederate. We are Kislev! Rebo for Kislev. We are invincible, Kislev. Lost Tsar returns. Aye, let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before all. All right, I'll I'll sell that. Our common cause shall. I, I return. But now I'm at war with Azazel as well. Much fun. Can I help you? Well, I don't need to get rid of this right now. Uh, shit. I priest of honor to your ancestors. Yes. Yeah, I saw that because um, what's gonna happen now is that I follow the bear. Well, what's gonna happen now is that the bloody sword is going to go claim that element. So right now, it's probably in my best interest to go take uh, help it itself directly. It's got its downsides, that particular approach. But if I take any other element, that will become my capital. That wouldn't necessarily be bad. Although, yeah, I probably should take the element in troll country. Sometimes these campaigns don't go exactly how you want them to. Sometimes these campaigns can go brilliantly well. Generally speaking, you're probably going to have to bail out Krakodrak to a degree or another. Okay. The bear asks it. Now you may sleep. Right, I won't be able... Our pulks. And what can the Dowie do for you? Alright, they've got the full army at the very least. Honor to your ancestors. Consume. Uh, going to get Province Protector. Code my code. So I guess the bloody swords have. Uh... You respect your queen. Have decided to withdraw. All right, Catherine. Wow, very shocking, surprising. A lot of time I see Catherine going to the south for whatever reason she decided to um, and north. But I've seen this happen on several occasions. This is a great thing about having an AI Catrin. Sometimes she's actually bloody useful to you as a player. Yeah, imagine that. Orson's disciple. The bear is with us. And I got a lot of money there. Going to get the church, get another Boris patriarch over Ursus there. Boris himself. Boris Ursus. I may not get help it this time. If I can get help it, it would be pretty great. Ensure that your overture. Honor to your hands. I don't think they can stop Trog. But they can slow him down. I might have to bail them out. Let's see what the bloody sword. 
you may you may lose the Tower of Torment. You want to hold on to it for as long as possible. All right. The motherland never falters. Well, that attrition because of uh, the Ursan invocation certainly took a major toll there. And we likely have Azazel coming for us as well. You can beat Azazel in a straight up confrontation. Four bears. There he is. Get growth. Reborn for Kislev. All right. A sacrifice to Orson. You don't want that. Take their head. There we go. Are so yeah. Flaws. Sometimes you just gotta go no with the flow. To may live. Demon Slayer. <laughs> A hot meal awaits. If I were on your feet. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Just Hear merge some of these guys together. The motherland needs men. Get a patriarch over there. Lost Tsar returns. I follow the bear. You don't want to hold on to this territory, by the way. You just want to claim it and then GTFO, basically. Orson's men endure. Allow me to give you a zap. You honor. Now, of course, Kostalatin loves it that I wiped out the Zazel. <laughs> For pretty clear and obvious reasons, I'd dare argue. Should I go for the Tower of Karak? Crack? Or should I go for Help It? Well, uh, Katrin is in a good position over there. Uh, to deal with Klein Mulder or at least keep them occupied, so I think I'll choose that particular path. Alright, some campaign movement range. Much need a campaign movement range. You want to die? Eric, bow to me. There's someone weak. Invoke Urson. But regardless of what order you do it, sometimes, many times in point of fact, you probably... For Orson. The great orthodoxy backs you. Leave now if you... Uh. Alright. So I'm going to start getting pirates' weapons. Orson sends us a gift. Let's get a boyar. I decide Kislev's fate. I deserve a larger retinue. Not even gonna bother with the castle, I'm just gonna go for the tower over there. Whatever army they have, Castalton is gonna wipe them out. Now, of course, the concern is Azag might march directly on Kislev. There is also that specific issue. I do want to take help it. Um, I might want to give it to crack a track. God damn, that got transferred into my capital, though. So I can't give it to crack a track. She's ready. Reborn for Kislev. 
I return. Orson's disciple. Beyond even the bear. I will cut them down. Frost Maiden. Okay, gonna get one with Disciplined. That's gonna be useful. Take their heads. I don't fancy attacking a tier 3 Dark Fortress because it's gonna have some fairly powerful uh, walls. The greater good must be served. Perhaps... Your bargain. That might help keep Krakadrak alive, though. What if they want? can get the full army, because uh, Trog is being distracted a bit. Let the frost empower us. Or they might survive. You... This is the ship pile of Kislev, really, and Norska. Things can go in a whole bunch of directions, really. There's no certainty, if you will. We are invincible, Kislev. Except this one. That you're stronger than Azazel. Especially if you wipe him out on the open field bell, or Castalton does it for you. Okay, so that's sorted out. Um, hmm. What should one do in this situation? I see. What do you ask of the Supreme Patriarch? Well, at least I got, um... Boris Orsos! We must keep moving. The lost Tsar returns. Yeah, we're gonna go for help it real quick here. And I'm gonna give that to Castelton. the side of truth! They will... A pittance compared to what I'm giving. Ready. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fine day? I agree. Good. I stand for Kislev. Extend my authority. Gonna get another Ice Mage because I can recruit two. I demand absolute loyalty. And you get more costars. High priest of Ursa. Like the motherland, our friendship endures. I care. All, all it would take is one big push from them. Get a reseller, heroic resilience, fearless fighter, brotherhood of bears, and of course. Well, one with Urson is actually more important yes. than Panda Brutes. Get impassioned for that melee defense. Because Patriarchs are... Well... <laughs> Boris squishy, to say the least. I control the frosts. Now, what... Um, with the Zazel removed from the theater of operations, one of the principal threats facing Kislev has been removed. If I take out Klein Mulder, that's the second one. If I can wipe out at least one of Trog's army, Krakodrak may have the impetus to just survive against them. But your goal is helping Kostalton, helping Katrin, and if you can, helping, of course, Krakodrak. Prague doesn't matter if they live or die, as long as you take the city, right? Hell, it might be great if um, someone else took the city. Governor, 
Roll out! I... Hear me roar! The bear permits us to rest. Lizards in place. So, Boris goes. Another Tempest Mage. Let us discuss stately affairs. Kislevite. Aus is... I okay. speak for the bear. Oh, they might survive. At least for a while. For a little while. In particular if I protect their settlements. Need to be careful when dealing with uh, Clan Mulder. Because now they're starting to get higher tier units. Which may very quickly become an issue. As was hoped for, the ambush there allowed the uh, allowed us to wipe them out. Your bargaining must be in yes, my favor. Confederation, no negative consequences for one. Boya. I switch. Disband that army. Prague is gonna need a do-over. I am going to get uh, the Citadel of Prague. Get rid of this, because the Citadel is gonna provide you all you need. Get the marble. Maiden of the Frosts. Only the truest Kislevites may serve. Gifts of winter. Reborn now I get an Ataman. Now he doesn't necessarily have great Ataman choices, by the way. I make the law. Wow, okay, I wonder if... Blansky. No greater rat than Mimi. All will bow. No. Who calls? I will listen, but my yes. Take what? Kislev, tribal fury. And now the moment of real truth. The Boca Palace's doors are open to you. Well, I could give Katrin. Hold on. Volksgrad and all these other provinces. All kiss Yes, it is a poor agreement in a lot of ways, not gonna lie about that. Only the faithful may serve. There will be no sleep. Lord of all. What do I want to do here? Power is my right. Let us discuss stately affairs.
Well, I can at least have her join the war against the Wintertooth. We're gonna attack it is Orson's Frot wish. now. Yeah, that might not be a winnable battle. Baffles. The lost Tsar returns. This is my right. I do not tolerate hesitation. Kislev's chosen. So I'm gonna have to pull back both all my armies over here. Let us discuss stately affairs. You honor. So. Noska. Okay. Research-wise, I'm going to get uh, convalescence, the more casualty replenishment. Get battle. Lord of the provinces. Get control. Yeah, this to tier two. And hopefully, don't lose my main army in the process. Well, to be fair, <laughs> I'll be blunt. If Frot tries to move out, he'll get wiped the fuck out. Plain and simple. Courage blows in our veins. Didn't quite go exactly as I would have hoped. Lost by Patriarch, but it's not necessarily the biggest loss. Especially when considering the genuine benefit that I've gained. That's a lot of units there. Holy God. This whole adventure delayed my campaign advance it helps my homeland you're kidding me really it would mean sound death orson's disciple good plan wow before me That's why I hate fighting, um... Patriarch of Kisley. Patriarch of Kisley. Fighting Skaven. If I can't thought resolve that, it's pointless. Look, if this army gets wiped out, again, no big loss. Oh, thank you, Catherine. You finally did something useful in your entire miserable <laughs> life. She showed up with free stacks to just wipe the Skaven clean. Although, did she? Wow. That is a hell of a comeback, Frat. I'll let them take the fort if it comes down to it. It's no big loss. Help it is the bigger prize. Prague is not a concern. Well, it is, of course, but... I, priest of Orson. My decision is law. Damn. A sacrifice to Orson. Yeah, that's a really rough to a story. Uh, get controller, because corruption is easily dealt with. It cements my power. Strength through faith. Stay healthy, Kislev. Alright, gonna get more uh, growth. The bear is with us for the defense of Kislev. 
I return. Never yield. Demon Slayer. I stand for Kislev. Gonna get some armor costers, regular armor costers. Boris Orsos. Get band of brutes. Hard to hit. The great bear rewards me. One point wild eye, one point blessing discs. Stupid experiment! Waste of time time. Hellstorm, freezing winds, biting wind. Governor of Kislev's land. How well is my right? Yeah, get dodge. I got to fight them manually. Alright, so Isaac and Draka are just about to head up against each other. I'm glad Catherine decided not to attack. Muslims for once. Okay, this is as good of an outcome as you're gonna get in this situation. And this in turn will allow Boris to just head over there, take him out, finish the job, so to speak. Stand for Kislev. Approved. I accept only loyal men. Bow to me. Okay, that Ataman has uh, leveled up. Um, get Ice Court Informer. at the supporter situation. I am going to support the Ice Court. Gives you growth, which is all well and good. We we and Castalton finally did me a benefit. Okay, so that just leaves Clan Farrick over there. I could have gone sideways real quick. But thankfully, Catherine did come in uh, to help me out in that situation. Though it's interesting. So if I conquer Prague, because you can't obviously as Boris. If I conquer Prague, then generally Catherine goes out. But if I make an alliance with Prague, then she's gonna, and she's gonna go north for whatever reason. Thirsts for war. Can I explain it? Kiesler. No. March! Pain is irrelevant. There will be no sleep. On your feet! Honor to you. The Empire. I will listen, but my time is short. All right? Yes? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheathed blade? Sigma's will! Sil and now Festus has shown up. So? You're gonna get Vittery pretty quickly uh, with them. Gonna get perfect vigor. Oh. 
your son's disciple. So this army is going to try and stop Trog's advance. Shut up! I hope. What do you want? Okay, they're getting a barracks level two. Now over here, I'm going to get improved lookouts for that extra recruitment chaos. capacity. Our common call. But Kislev is essentially safe right now. I don't want to start the war. <laughs> I don't want to start the war with Festus. Though I could for the sake of Dostland. But that can also be a lower priority. The gold mine is great, but the Ostermark is actually more, more of an important province anyway. Yeah, don't you just love it when dwarves go to war with Kislev? This happens more than you might imagine. A lot more than you might imagine. What ails you? They should be fine. If they won't be. No hesitation. Spread Orson's love. I stand for Kislev. If they won't be, you can always trade help it to them. The greater good, master. Child of the Lord. For her, more inviting win. I could always trade this to Castaldo, honestly. Kislev's truth is also. Of course, yours. if I could, right? That's a lot of money for a minimal benefit. Demon Slayer! I could also, um... Alright, so Clan Ferric is moving. He's got another army there. Honestly, it's not really too big of a concern. But yeah, Azak has been effectively wiped out. If you're hoping for me to explain the situation with dwarves, yeah. There's no simple explanation, I'm afraid. Look, as long as you help stabilize the situation somewhat over here, that's all that matters. I return! Follow the bear. We are Orson's claws. Boris Orsos. All right, that's a bit of devotion that I've gained there. Second Maiden mage. Maiden of the frosts. I reject any who crave power. Actually, I don't need the units here, because I can get Strelzy from Prague. Reborn for Kis what news do you bring to the Ice Throne, friend? I'm pretty close to Confederate and Catrin. And you may want to do so. Just, just bear in mind that there's pros and cons with that as well. Uh, the pro A of Confederating is pretty damned obvious, right? The con is you won't be able to get supporters anymore. And yes, it does matter. Alright, so Karakadrak may not survive much longer at this rate. Now with Wolfric there. 
But I don't have time for this shit. So maybe just give Krakadrak help it and call it a day. Or let them die. Keep help it. Our shared Pros and cons. Well, they still have their capital. I'm just gonna get the barracks level one here and give it, give it, give it to the dwarves. Maiden of the Icecourt shall provide. Who for die? And then start moving on the Ostermark. Onward, to take men. it from Isaac. Lord of the provinces. Lord of all. Well, it would be great to hold on to the hell pit. It's also not necessarily the most important thing in the world. Embrace this familiar score. And one great thing about not having to deal with the fucking supporter system. What news do you bring to the... The great up to my pulks. The Sigma's will. By Sigma's will, come in peace. All right, they won't survive Indeed. much longer, I think. On it. I will. Wind shaper. Yes. <laughs> No counselor. What is what I will? You want to die now? Now, what's interesting is that Wolfric, like, uh. Denied. I've little time for Wolfric talking. has declared war on Trog. Though that usually does happen. Uh, a lot of the time. Because you want to know how to kill Trog? Take out his armies. And then, uh, then Castalton shows up and. And beats the not out of all of them. Alright, so Catherine's getting another army. Boris is heading south. The goal is to now take all of the Ostermark, uh, Isaac's lands, take Sylvania. Like, I've done all I needed to do. How things develop early on in the campaign, that can change, but your ultimate plan is always going to be the same. Take the Ostermark, take Isaac's territory, Take uh, Dreyka, Dreyka's capital, if it's still standing, sometimes it might be wiped out, and then march into Sylvania. Vlad will always be there, and this way you'll get several big provinces with a lot of resources available to them. What the Governor of actual... Oh my gosh. Advance for you little shits. Now, the one downside with Boris is obviously this control. I'm going to start getting um, Ice Court indoctrination. Become a stronger motherland. What news do you bring? What do you ask of the Supreme? Perhaps. Because should be able to hold the line. Obeys. Even if he's facing a lot of forces. But he... <laughs> oh man, it's like this guy. Holy crap. He's got a lot of things coming. But honestly, as long at this point, as long as you don't lose um, Prague itself, you are fine. Hell, you could even lose Prague itself.
to Natural. Yes! All the world is made from a frog! Reborn to serve Father Bear. The bear asks it. Cut them down! I have survived death once. Mere cattle. Useless. Orson's disciple! It is Kislevite now. And now I am going to start getting... It is our resp- Ours! Celestial- What? I can get a peace tree with Trog. <laughs> He's so weakened by Wolfric just showing up, as is Wolfric's want, though. The combat skills that they get, returns. those Athamans, are not Instrument so important against chaos. Um, overall. Because you can level them up, and I don't think they stack. I you can't get both the bear. More inviting win, invasion. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Serve me. Honor Orso. Now this is where Far having a mod army. Uh, that allows you to use warband upgrades Hearts can be ice. really, really good in a situation like this. Instead of just, you know, dismissing units. Thankfully global recruitment helps. The global recruitment benefit that proc provides, of course. Ungram actually kicking ass. Holy shit. Might be a tough challenger. Either way, it doesn't matter. Refin with, here I come, baby. Wolfram may be a m major threat, though, in this campaign. Festus isn't exactly going to be a cakewalk either. gonna get one more. Loyalty. Oh, that's nice. Demon Slayer! We are invincible, Kislev! In because that will always give you a good amount of devotion. Hear me roar. Now, I can't... I can't deny one thing. This generally goes a lot better if you have a mod to give you devotion from everything. Kislev's toast is we are child of the speak all the world is meat for my grinder you first frog is yes the dragon so I've it. stabilized the situation to the north <laughs> though it might look at quite a bit different no campaign is ever the same really when it comes to this kind of stuff Never Gonna get heroic resilience more in. No other may wield it. That icon of strength. Another icon of strength. Hailstorm. And get that to a higher level too. Next objective. Ruffinwood. She's at war with Sylvania. That might be. Really nice. I guess it's because Karakadrin did come uh, and wipe, uh, did come out and wipe to wipe out Azag 
So I'm gonna have to face Slayers. Well, Slayers tend to do poorly in auto resolve. My units have heavy armor. They'll do pretty well in auto resolve. Prague is great as a city because it gives you that special structure with um, with some pretty hefty benefits associated with it. If you're playing Catra and you conquer Prague, but if you're playing Boris Ursus, it's pretty easy to confederate. What I'm a, what I find a bit odd. All right, so Aslan. Boris Ursus. I'm on my own. Sacrifice I can Ursus. deal with Drake on my own. That's not my concern. And if she's weakened speed. Vlad for me, Ursus now bear in mind, you're strong enough to take down Vlad on your own. But if she weakens Vlad for you, that is. Such a sweet, sweet Lord turn of, of events. That, however, not so much. For the wisdom of Valea. It's a bit. Yeah, they've only got miners. All right. Well, there's no. Hmm. All right. Let's get ice court. I will impale them. The motherland in you. You always want to sack this. Though to some degree, I'm a bit disappointed in the amount of money. Yeah, still only one, sadly enough. I'll keep... Uh, I'll hold on to it for a while, at least. Hello, Dryka. Nice seeing you there. She is a nasty, nasty one. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Yes. The next... Slaughter. Sigma's will. What? Uh, with those... Uh, for the motherland. Get deadly blade to have a higher chance this. to hit. Fox of Miska. Biting wind for this one. Just repair it. Can't afford it. We'll get we'll get a higher price even. That's laughable. toast! It's also yours. No, Costalta needs to deal with Festus. I reckon, over there. Get the Ice Court indoctrination, we're gonna need that. Control. Now, generally speaking, I would move against Sylvania by this point, but since I'm at war with Karakadrin... That is gonna occupy a lot of my time over here right now. Am I concerned about Dryka? No, I'm not. Not really. Your army is still better. <laughs> that's that's the key to success here. Please don't declare war on me, that's, that would be really fucking annoying. No joke, that would genuinely be one of the few annoying, really annoying things in the campaign here. Alright, he sacked that. Not too fond of having to maintain to, uh, to maintain an army there, but uh, to the north to stay. Well, depends though, if Wolfric has taken a lot of casualties... Ah, uh, he does have those mammoths, still. The Frozen Kingdom welcomes all its allies. The Great Orthodoxy backs you.
Let Castal can deal with his problems. I'll deal with mine. High priest of Urso. So somehow I doubt Castalton is gonna avoid it. Oh gosh. Um hmm. A sacrifice to Urso. Now here's one of the things you shouldn't know about this situation. About I dealing with Rika specifically. Alright. She has an army the that can beat the crap land. out of you. She's the only one that can actually really uh, and genuinely decimate you in an open the field battle. Lifts us. The reason is, the units she has, with their fear and terror, down here. can this do very well mine. against you. Drift. The axe thirsts for war. Should I stick around? No. I don't have time to stick around. I'm tempted to give help it to them. Let's see what Draka ends up doing. And what my odds are. I might have to pick that fight with her. With her army at full strength. She is pretty scary in a full frontal fight like that. Not gonna lie. Well, thankfully, only... Okay, this is a decent enough battlefield. I'll be able to utilize the various advantages of my army here. Whoa, what the? She comes. For the motherland. Obey the orthodoxy. Yes. Yeah, I do hate fighting Draco. You can imagine why. This pal, not gonna win it.
Okay. Um, I'm going to need to corner camp and try and kill her. And then we'll drop. I can't face her directly in an open field battlefield. And yeah, certainly the disposition of my troops there was not the best. Alright, so corner camping it is. Uh, there's a nice bit of terrain over there. We're gonna take advantage of that, the poised Krelzy. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. The problem, I think, um, this may not work either. Okay, so the fundamental problem is my guys have low, have low armor piercing. Guess what? All of Draka's units have. Yeah, good armor. Uh, good armor. No joke. I think I'm going to try and deploy the Streltsy on that side. Fell bats incoming. I'm hoping to at least do some damage to our army as it comes uh, here. Damn those attacks, what the hell is that? Generally when I fight Draika, like I've learned my lesson a long time ago when it comes to Draika. And if there's any tip I would give you guys, just don't fight her directly. Because she's got more than enough abilities to ruin your day. Just that though. That army can't be defeated. I made a mistake, what can I say, in besieging her there. I'm just gonna have to reload again and withdraw. I certainly won't be able to beat her with the garrison. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I cannot resolve. I'll tell you how you beat Draka. You bring two fucking armies. <laughs> Interesting. So she's not pursuing. Okay. Oh, 
Advance for Kiesland. What structure does she have here? Global recruitment. Okay, that would be great. Take that head. I have survived death once. They will suffer. Ulsum's wrong. Wait, I'm just gonna have to wait for the second army. I guess she doesn't like her odds there. The dwarves can have help it. We'll Looks like it they need it. Gold. Yes. Who calls? Greetings from Sigma. I will. Who calls? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Yes. Approach and make your offer. What? Approach and make your offer. So, yes? Natural Sigma Yes. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Agreed. We're in for the Is fight of our lives. Now, look, most of the time when it comes to Draika, you can ca uh, catch her outside of a settlement and just auto-resolve against her. But if you have to fight and battle against her, yeah, that does happen. Far more than you might think. It's a lesson I've learned after quite a few campaigns. But also because she, like most of the time, she won't be this strong. Um, her army will end up being weakened against others, uh, against Azag, against Vlad in this case. I'm kind of hoping Vlad comes to the rescue of her here. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not exactly what you want to, say, want to have to say, but still. Motherland never falters. What the hell? Why? Hear me roar. Just bizarre, I guess. Well, I know that the rebellion, but still. Hey, about that. I priest of Urson. Boris Ursus. A sacrifice to Urson. The bear is with us. It is Urson's wish. Let's start getting an economy. Rebel for Kislev. All right, so the dwarves finally have a barracks. They do have a bunch of miners. Can I help you? I I might need those. No fucking joke. for life. Only the truest I'm literally just gonna get them just because Drika scares the shit out of me. Get foe seeker. Excellent. I follow the bear. I don't have a good strategy for beating her in an open field battle. I'll be blunt about it. I don't think anyone has a good strategy oh, for man. dealing with that. At least not as Kislev. Or the Empire. Um, oh, Azak has some choices. Like, Azak at least has some, deci uh, some choices he can make. Uh, cause, well, he's got nasty skulkers, uh, and really, when it comes to Azak, he's gonna bring four fucking armies. Also, trolls can potentially do well against Trikin. No, stone trolls, really. 
But honestly, most of the time when it comes to Draika, you don't face her head on in a fucking battle. Because you'll lose if you do that. <laughs> As you've seen. You wait until she's weakened by fighting someone else. Maybe two others. And then um, you wipe her out. Her armory is also really good in auto resolve. So it's not like... Oh! Hear me roar! Yeah, this should get oh, what the fuck we're facing them. here. At least I'd win I that. For Sacrifice to Orson. The hell? For Kislev. That's not necessarily a sacrifice I will want to make. Take their head. The motherland endures. Taste my spear. Governor of Kislev's lands. Well. Oh, okay. So, I forget, like, with Elven Settlements, right, they have this specific layout. Like, one of the problems with Draka is, like, on an open field, but in a choke point, like this, then the situation is a bit different. I'm not gonna say this is gonna be a cakewalk, because it sure as shit is not going to be a cakewalk. In all the guides that I've done, this is the situation that I... This is the kind of situation that I work very, very hard to avoid. I was just unlucky, and I was also stupid. Because instead of, you know, deploying... What the hell is that? Like, I, I, I don't even understand what that ability is. <laughs> I am a bit... Oh, it's probably one of the... I get it. It's one of those abilities, right? From a hero first. Oh, man, that hurts. Okay. All right, move her, move all of them into that narrow choke point. Does anyone have a mount? Yes, she does. Put scouts. Now, my dad. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know wood elves are a nightmare, but damn. 
<laughs> you sometimes get used to the meme of Orion just suiciding his army against your forts that you forget that these guys are one of the most powerful factions in the freaking game in terms of battle potential. Is she gonna attack or am I going to have to provoke her? So maybe if I had just attacked directly in her, in that settlement, I could have... Okay, that explains something. Yeah, this is the only way to beat Trike, I just play on her stupidity. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy shit, what the... Okay. For the motherland! I go! Obey the order of the Cossars! Armored Cossars! Boris Cossars! I will gut them! Blessed by the Orthodoxy! Slow them down. They won't break, but we can slow them down.
I do certainly hope that that uh, Frost Maiden did get out of it. Yeah, the only good units that I have here that are capable of dealing with this threat are obviously the War Bears. Everyone else is vastly outmatched. The Boris is certainly holding his own pretty well. Alright, pull these guys out. Gonna move the Strelts into the front line. Maybe even try and flank around there. Alright, they're starting to break there. Without Draka, the malevolent tree spirits are less crazy. Still pretty insane. So yeah, avoid declaring war on Draka just because you think you'll win. Only <laughs> declare war on Draka. Boris Ursus himself. Gonna get that uh, for growth. And also the Boris each Ursus grazing patch, the pasture, each farm basically Anything will for uh, also gonna get blade shield for him. Instrument it will also increase your chaos. income from farms faction wide. This is why you're going for it. I think I really need to play a campaign as Draka just to fully uh, understand her power. Never yield, Lord of all. Descent rules. Okay, she is. No, I will not shame my clan. Damn. She certainly is something else. There okay. And this gives you full control of Dostermark. I'll also be able to get another Ataman, I think, uh, if I take this entire province. Maybe, maybe not, actually, because... If I had help it, potentially I would have, yes. Oh well. Here comes Ungram. <laughs> now things are pretty nasty in the north. That's why you want to get the hell out of there. Because if it's not Trog, it's Wolfric. The Empire. The, the Empire. Will of the Blizzard. Well, Catherine should be able to hold her uh, her own there for a while. Fire. 
What? Well, so much for Trog. Destroy these fools. I order the death. Courage flows in our veins. Orson's disciple. I travel the world seeking to. So, what? So now we face the full might of Norska United under Wolfric. Can they get away <laughs> any worse? Alright, that's another student. That's two students. Kislev's chosen. Okay, I need another full province over there. The lost Tsar returns. I'm gonna move into encamp stance. Wolfric moving south right there, though, is not necessarily a big problem. Get full plate armor. Point an impassioned I evasion. This show has gone sideways, hasn't it? Get Your more control. Sends us a gift. Will be important. I might be able to retake Vorchakova. And give it to Katrin. Now, if she could stop Wolfric, that would be great. Now, my personal goal would be also to take uh, Sylvania. Though, I think right now, it would probably... Damn. Double damn. No way to spend that. Perfect. <laughs> Bow before me. High priest of what? Orson. Wow. Pack them apart. Holy cow. I follow the bear. Cut them down. The bear is with us. You belong to Ursum now. For Kislev. Hearts of ice. My lands expand. Ungurum is though. Rebo. For Kislev. Urx. To. Who calls? Be to war. Lord of all. Hear me roar. The bear lifts us. All right, more students, a lot more students. Holy crap, that's a significant amount of students. All right, get more to ice shield control. Kislev against chaos. He's got one. Campaign movement range.
You can get more Excellent. blade master. The bear asks it. Okay, over here I'll get more into Taurus battle him. Boris Ursus himself. More into nasty. Boris Ursus. Get Guardian's call. I stand for Kisle. No other may wield it. Never yield. Blessing discs over there. Governor of Kislev's lands. Yeah, this has been a very fun <laughs> journey, I can say. Very, very fun journey. A negotiation. Yes. No. One rag. If I can take out this particular ah. army. As it was meant to be. Ah. Then maybe one of the armies can go deal with Wolfric's force. While the other one. <laughs> while the other one goes to conquer the dwarves. I can't get over how silly this is. Damn it. Many things that could go wrong have gone wrong here. Generally, you want Draka, right? To you, you want uh, a Draka to to kill a kill Isaac, because then she her army is going to be far away from home, which is something you can obviously take to uh, take advantage of. Oh, great! More armies. Going. <laughs> that's uh, that's a really fun situation. I swear, most of the time it doesn't get this bad. I'm not exaggerating. This is like probably one of the worst situations I've seen. Why are we so mistreated? Not a chance. The lost Tsar returns. Demon Slayer. Kislev's chosen. Become a stronger motherland. Let's get those war bear riders. Reborn for Kislev. Wow, before me. Gonna get more control. Orson sends us a gift. Yes. Ah, uh, Ungrim. Helps my homeland. With this, I serve Kislev. Yeah, fervor. High priest of Orson. Blizzard can be useful, but so can scouting. Lord Maybe protection the against uh, range nets would have been warranted there. A symbol of my unparalleled. Even Draka has uh, still a great deal of range power available to her. Highborn son. I admit I don't. You know, I've played Woodolph in campaigns. What the hell is that ability that you shoot across the map? An arrow, Kurnos? Let's see if Wolfric takes the bait. If this army can be eliminated, then I can concentrate all my forces on Ungrim. Sure, it might be a good idea to move against uh, Festus at this point. <laughs> oh boy. What am I getting myself into? It's like a horror show that never ends. Though honestly, this is... And this is the best you can do, really. 
with Ostermark, you get you get a strong, solid economic base that you, from which you can use to expand. But that pointless war with Karakadrin certainly puts a damper on things, doesn't it? We are Urson's claws. How can I? Now I could go to. Uh, Oh great, I needed a rogue army. <laughs> that, that's exactly what the doctor I ordered. Return. But okay, enough. I've stabilized the situation. Well, th this is what you want to do. Well, maybe not get involved into a, into a pointless affair with Drika, but still. There's no way to cut it, really. Your rejection of the ice court mean what? What? My slayer oath would have me kill you. Wait, it is time. All right, peace treaty. You won't get the gold mine for Karakungor, but sometimes sacrifices need to be made, right? So that's a small one. After beating the crap out of him in an open field battle. And... And what I would do here at uh, this point would be to march on Sylvania, take that out. After everything i faced so far, <laughs> that would be uh, the easiest part. I serve on you now obviously the Drazina Enclave is not just gonna sit down and take it. I'll free. And Wolfric has become a giga threat over here with all of Norska. Yeah. This campaign would be a very interesting one to continue playing, I swear. A very, very interesting one. The true Ever Chosen has arrived, and he's bringing a lot of friends. We are disrespected. But that's all you really should know. What do you need to know? You want to to save the dwarves how you go about it like just come here just we to recap come here get frozen landing get the temple then give that to Prague Prague will end up in a war with clan Ferric you'll be able to get the confederation with them via that then you take off Frot secure help pit then you're free to move south in theory <laughs> in theory as you've seen it can go in multiple ways completely sideways in ways you may not necessarily expect but th those are the core principles of this campaign. This has been certainly a very interesting journey. Now, I fought Kislo campaigns before. This is the first time it's gone so completely sideways by what, you know, past the early game. Like, generally speaking, it's the early game that's the problem, right? Fraught, Azazel, etc. But here, it's like easily dealt with Fraught and Azazel for the most part. It just ended up being, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What have I got myself in, into? And I do find it silly that... Okay, so let's say you take Troll Country and give it to the Dwarves. Castalton! Then, and you make an alliance with the Dwarves, and then Castalton's like, Oh, it's free real estate. Declares war on the Dwarves, drags you right in. Bit of a problem, as you might imagine. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a bloody problem, right? Bit of a major problem right there. Well, um, I can confederate Kostaltin here. Now, one thing to always remember with playing Boris is this. You can always declare war on Catherine and Kostaltin. You can also get the mod to uh, gain control of legendary lords when their faction gets wiped out. So, if, for instance, if I took over Kisa, how do you want to do so? Not early on. Um, the reason you don't want to do so early on is because you want uh, them to secure. Uh, you want them to secure uh, these. Uh, you want them to secure the north. Like you want to do the minimal require minimum requirement to uh, take con to hold Prague. But once. Um, once that's uh and to and whatever city like this applies with castalton and and catrin as well like if you're playing castalton you try and take out the zazel very quickly you can 
uh, you have those trails, you have the units to and take I them out. But once that's done, you want to move south. Like with Castalatin, you'd obviously end up in a conflict with Festus. If you're playing Catrin, you end up in a conflict with Sylvania and Draca and, and Izak. Generally speaking, things don't go so badly against Draca. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like, this is the first campaign in a very, very long time where I've actually had to fight a really perilous battle against uh, Draca. Anyway, Quasiner, signing up. Stay tuned for more, boys and girls.